Hey guys, what's going on? Joel Ogalvo here, and I am answering uh, your question on Facebook. Um, so basically, what I wanted to provide a video for you was one that would help you um, either increase testosterone, increase energy, increase um, muscle, or help you lose more fat. And really, the the overwhelming response that I got mainly was between two, which was, "Hey, Joe, how can you help me increase my testosterone levels?" And Joe, how can you help me lose fat? So that's why I've gone ahead and I've um, put together this video here. And it's going to be about how to either maintain or increase your testosterone levels as you cut. So as you go on a diet and begin losing fat. And the reason why um, I decided to just put these two together was because um, one, that's what you wanted to hear most of. And two, because there's so many mistakes that guys are making when they are dieting that is actually crushing their testosterone levels, okay? And there's so many things that you could be doing instead that are just going to lead to um, just a better dieting experience. Um, that way you're not crashing your male hormones, you're not losing a bunch of muscle, but at the same time you're getting lean and ripped. So that's, that's the goal. I mean, no man wants to go on a diet and basically lose what it feels like to be a man. I've been there. Uh, I've done a bodybuilding contest before. Let me tell you, the dieting for that thing absolutely crushed me. Absolutely crushed me from a hormonal standpoint. Um, you know, my, my testosterone was at, you know, bare minimum. <laughs> okay, so uh, the only thing that I was thinking about was food at that time. So we want to avoid these things from happening. We do want to get into a healthy body fat percentage. I'd say get in between 8 to 12, 14% is, is pretty darn good. Okay, and so that, um, if you're wanting to get those abs, man, that's a great body, body fat percentage to get to. So let's go ahead and we're just going to go over to the video. Um, I'm sorry if I ramble a little bit. I'm just going just completely raw here, no script, anything like that. We're just going to go and we're going to do it. Okay, so um, what I've gone ahead, I have written down some notes just so I don't forget some topics that I do want to cover about this. So if I do look down uh, to the side here, I'm just taking a look at my notes. So we're going to go over first the big mistakes that men are making when they are trying to lose fat, which is actually hurting their testosterone levels. Okay, and then of course we're going to follow up these mistakes with solutions. Okay, so um, mistake number one is eating too little <clears throat> carbs and fat. Okay, so if you've read um, any of my blog posts, any articles that I've posted, even if you're reading my daily um, emails, you'll know that I touch on this topic quite a bit. Um, so the, the status quo, the typical way of dieting in the fitness industry uh, and really this whole marketing um, outside of just the fitness industry, just to average Joes like myself and, and others, um, is to go on a low carb or low fat diet. So you see like the ketogenic diet, for example, is all the rave, okay, and um, the, it's, I mean, it's huge. I even had a guy, um, uh, approach me and say, Hey Joe, do you want to work on a product together on the ketogenic diet? It's, it's absolute, uh, absolutely huge. And I was like, no man, I, I don't want to do that. Uh, it would completely disservice the people who are following me. And my, my goal is to help my guys, the anabolic tribe, uh, boost their testosterone levels. So there's no way I'm going to partake in, in some sort of ketogenic diet um, because there's tons of studies that show that the ketogenic diet actually lowers testosterone levels. The reason why is because you're, you're not getting any carbs. Okay, Carbs are a big player is in testosterone production. Not only that, but uh, so is fat. So on the flip side of that, you see something opposite of the ketogenic diet, which is a very high fat diet, very low carb. On the flip side, you're seeing a very um, high, excuse me, not, not really a high carb diet. You're actually just seeing more of a um, low carb, low fat or, or moderate carb, low fat type diet, um, even maybe a no fat diet. 
Um, so that right there, as you know, cholesterol is a direct precursor to testosterone. So once you take out the fatty foods that help with the production of, um, of cholesterol and testosterone, boom, man, your, your testosterone levels are going to take a, a massive nosedive. So we want to avoid these extremes. We want to avoid the, the low-fat diets. We want to avoid the low-carb diets, and we want to find what is best. Okay, so doing that, we're just going to go into just the macronutrient breakdown for any guy who's going to – actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's let's cut through the mistakes. Then let's, let's go ahead and we'll move into the solutions. The reason why is because the solutions are going to all just kind of go hand in hand. You'll see how we – piece it together here. So mistake number one that you want to avoid is eating too little carbs and too little uh, too little fat. Okay, If you're a man, you want to be a high performing man, you want to continue building muscle, you want to maintain a high sex drive, you want to increase your testosterone levels, you want to have more energy, then you sure as heck do not want to skip out on the carbs and the fat. And guess what? The protein, um, I'll explain that in a little bit, but the protein is no big deal for your testosterone levels. What I mean is these two are far more important for your testosterone levels than protein. So no, mistake number two. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna write it like this. I put uh, spending too much time in the gym, um, so I'm just gonna put it as overtraining, of course, because I'm sure you're familiar with that term by now, especially if you've checked out um, Anabolic Reload that Steve Holman and I worked on together and also uh, my anabolic running program, you know that, that um, overtraining is something you want to avoid at all costs. So overtraining is going to lower your testosterone levels. Um, it's also going to lead to um, just depleting your immune system. So you're going to feel more uh, fatigued throughout the day. I know a, a lot of you guys were wanting me to to shoot a video on how to increase energy, and that that will come in the future definitely. But um, one way in which to keep high energy levels is to avoid overtraining. Now, a lot of guys when they are dieting, or when they're trying to you know shred down and and get to a lower body fat percentage and just lose belly fat, what they do is they spend tons of time in the gym, okay? And this is exhausting in more ways than just on your body. It's exhausting on your hormones and on your mental health. Now, now think about this for a second. Why do you think that during New Year's, when the New Year comes, which we're coming up to in maybe 40 days, Okay, there's so many people in the gym. They're so determined to reach their goal. And you may see them in the gym a ton for the first couple of weeks. And then all of a sudden, boom, there they go. Do you think it's just a, a motivation thing? It's not just a motivation thing. It's an overtraining thing is why they're not coming back to the gym. Their bodies are starting to feel more fatigued. Mentally, they're beginning to feel more exhausted. This isn't because they're losing necessarily motivation. It's because overtraining, the overtraining is wearing down on them from a psychological, from an emotional standpoint. So really at the core of that lack of motivation is overtraining. And that's why people, you know, the, the gym becomes a ghost town as, the, as you continue on into the new year. Okay, and you start seeing those people just kind of dwindle away. Uh, you know, they have more effects on their immune system, so they're not feeling good. They're not going to the gym. Uh, you know, once you break off that path, that determined path that you're on, it's easier to say no the second, the third, the fourth time. Eventually, you're just not going to the gym anymore. Okay, so, and then for us men, of course, overtraining will sabotage your male hormones. Um, so your testosterone levels, your natural growth hormone production, all these things are going to be going on a downward trend, which is why you certainly want to avoid overtraining if you want to boost your testosterone levels. So uh, if you notice with anabolic reload, three days a week. If you notice with anabolic running, two to four days per week of very short interval training. 
Okay, using of course you want to use those the particular breathing methods and and uh, you know as, as the formula is laid out in the manual for the max results. But you see here, you want to avoid overtraining. These are the best things for your testosterone levels. I again, just like I was a victim of eating too little carbs and too little fat, and I felt the wear and tear on my male hormones. I was a victim of overtraining as well. Okay, so when I was, you know, training for Spartan races and such, too much, too much running, you know, and, and that was, you know, played into a lot of things that I, I dealt with as well. So there's, there's a lot of things here that overtraining will do uh, for the man who is motivated, who has good intention to lose his belly fat, to slim down, and then boom, he runs into this problem right here, overtraining. Despite having a good will to get fit, this overtraining here is going to hold him back. So I don't want that to hold you back from losing your fat that you want to lose. And of course, I don't want it to sink your testosterone levels because that turns you into someone like a shell of your former self. It's just never good. Um, so... One more here. This is the uh, third mistake that I see when people are trying to, um, you know, get cut. Okay, and it is I'm sorry that my handwriting is so sloppy here. Um, and I guess I, I probably could have put this in a more simple definition here, but uh, I put not accounting for calories. So basically you're, you're not considering what your caloric intake is. So in a perfect world, we can eat whatever we want and we can expect to see a result. And that includes eating healthier. So we can eat whatever healthy foods we want and think that that's enough to get us lean and trim. Now, I will say this, for just a few percentage of men, that will work. Those are for the guys who are super in tune with their body, okay? So they know, uh, you know, kind of what to eat. They're very um, religious on the meals that they eat. So they know if, hey, every meal that I'm eating is, for example, chicken, avocado, and brown rice. So I know that if I eat four meals a day of that and I'm not losing any more weight, I'm gonna take out meal number three. Excuse me, I'm gonna take out one of the meals, I'll have three meals a day and that'll help me lose more weight. That's fine, but nobody's just going to eat the same thing every day, okay? Which is why I'm going to show you a, a solution to kind of help you get in, in the right frame of mind here. So when you're not accounting for calories, you're just kind of, you know, you're just shooting without aiming. Okay, you're shooting for that goal of, hey, I want to get shredded. Hey, I want to lose 10, 20, 30 pounds. Hey, I want to lose my belly. I want to, um, you know, tighten up my, my uh, chest and eliminate that chest fat, these, these things, you cannot shoot from the hip and not aim, okay? It comes down to your nutrition approach. So you really have to account for calories because the thing is, is if you're not at a caloric deficit every day, then you're going to be, you're gonna either maintain, or you're gonna continue gaining weight, okay? And that just leads to a cycle of frustration. So. This one right here requires accuracy, okay? If you really want to have high and healthy testosterone levels and also shed fat at the same time, then you have got to take your calories serious. So I'm done talking about the mistakes, okay? Because I'm, I'm sure you guys want to see some silver lining here, and I am pumped to share it with you. Okay, so this is the great time going into the new year that you're going to have kind of a plan of action that you can follow. Uh, and you can email me with questions if you want as well. I'm also going to be opening up opportunities in the future where I can customize all this information here for you that we're about to go over so you have your own battle plan that is customized specifically for you. Um, you know, that way you can keep increasing your testosterone levels, just crush that belly fat, continue building muscle as well. 
But let's go ahead and let's go into these solutions here. So solution number one. So first we're talking about eating too little carbs and too little fat. Okay. So the solution to that is eating macros for your testosterone levels. Okay, so what that looks like, what macronutrients are is carbs, fat, and protein. Okay, so this goes against everything the diet industry will tell you. Okay, you know why? Because I'm telling you to eat 40% of your daily calories from fat, 40% of your daily calories from carb, from carbs, 20% coming from protein. So I'm telling you to go on a low protein, high carb, and high fat diet. Well, guess what? If you want to be a man who is pumping with testosterone, you don't want to sacrifice that. Let's let's face it, testosterone is becoming more of an issue for men. So why would we risk lowering our testosterone levels even more for the sake of having maybe a 10, 20 pound loss uh, on, our, on our weight? It's just not worth it. You're not going to feel and perform like the man that you need to be. And you're going to lose muscle because of it. It'll be a, a more challenging road to lose fat in the future. Because of it, you'll feel lethargic, low energy, low sex drive. These are all things that, that make us feel like a man, okay? And we want to preserve those things and not just preserve, but increase. So this is the optimal ratio here for your diet, for, for your nutrition, if you want to increase your testosterone levels. Boom, right here, okay? And now I'm going to tie in here how to have this how to have this ratio here and still lose, lose fat. Because you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, well, that's fine, but how am I going to lose fat eating a high carb and a high protein diet? Well, I'm going to go over that in just a second here. Uh, first, <clears throat> I want to go over just uh, that, that mistake number two that I see. And, and you guys know this already, and I already just kind of went over it a little bit. Avoid overtraining. Okay, so before I'm going to tie these macros in right here with number three in just a second here. However, this is, you know, this is something I touched on already. I'm just going to finish up. So you want to avoid overtraining at all costs. So guys, uh, more is not always better. There is too much of a good thing. And so... When guys are, are training and they're going to the gym five, six, sometimes seven times a day, you're going to suffer the side effects of overtraining, okay? Which is why I recommend doing your workouts, whether at home, whether at the gym, doing them three to four times a week. Here's the thing. Every workout matters. Every single workout counts, okay? So... Going in there and just going through the motions is not going to get you to that goal of burning fat and increasing your testosterone levels. You really have to put in a great workout. Um, if you picked up the 90-minute testosterone uh, program that I um, was just giving away for, I think it was under $5 over the past few days, you'll see that there's tons of tips in there to help you maximize your time, your pre, intra, and post workout so you can get the highest testosterone response out of your workouts, so you can get the highest fat burning response out of your workouts, out of your post workout as well, and then same with um, how to get the greatest muscle building response. So what, what it's about is, is and, and I'll give you um, one tip right here, so if, if you're uh, goal is to increase testosterone levels during your workouts. It's not, it doesn't always have to be, hey, I have to lift crazy heavy weight, okay? A lot of us body weight guys who train using our body weight at home, we want to increase testosterone levels too, right? 
So what you want to do is you want to have a very short break window. So between 60 to 120 seconds, I prefer between 60 to 90 seconds of rest in between your sets. This has been shown to elicit a greater testosterone and growth hormone response when you work out with those shorter rest times. So like I said, when you're in the gym, you're not there to socialize. Okay, I know that can be tough. I know that there's guys who may come up to you and want to talk to you, especially as you get more ripped more muscly, they're gonna to wanna to get tips from you. But hey, you're in there to do your business, get out, okay, and then um, start increasing your testosterone throughout the day in other ways. Uh, however, with your workouts, you wanna make sure that you're sticking to three to four days a week, okay? Anabolic reload is great for that. Anabolic running is a standalone workout, or if you wanna tack it on to anabolic reload, it's fantastic. So. Um, it, it's totally up to you. You can use the shock and awe uh, strength system that came with anabolic running, that, that body weight program. So you can, you can use those three to four days per week, okay? And make sure that those, uh, those little break times in between each set are between 60 to 90 seconds. Boom. Okay, there you go. Now you're, you're boosting your testosterone even more with your workouts. Okay. Now, what's so cool about losing body fat is as you lose body fat, your testosterone levels naturally begin to increase as well. Okay. So the goal here isn't to sabotage our testosterone levels so we can then lose the fat and then hopefully get it, get it back up. Okay. The goal here is to maintain... high testosterone levels while we're dieting so we can have thriving testosterone levels once we lose that body fat, particularly in the belly especially, okay? Because a lot of research shows that that belly fat is, um, it, it'll, it produces a lot of estrogen, of course, it's close to your uh, family jewels, so it's, it uh, really weakens the production of your, of your testosterone. Um, is it, that's where it takes place. So you want to make sure that that when you're when you're doing this, we're not going to lose fat at the sacrifice of our testosterone levels. Been there, done that. It is a horrendous experience. Okay, trust me. Um, okay. So last but not least, you guys. Uh, so we've gone over the the training. I'm looking at my notes here. Okay. You guys knew what was coming up. So the, the problem that a lot of guys that I see with a lot of men is they're, they want to have the best of both worlds where they're losing fat, yet they're not taking care or keeping track of their calories. Just shooting from the hip. It's not going to work. Okay? Eating at a caloric deficit while well, following these macros is the number one key to cutting fat and at the same time increasing or maintaining your high and healthy testosterone levels. Okay, so that, that right there is the formula. So I'm going to give you an example. So, for example, if, if say you're eating 2,000 calories... A day and if you're not losing any calories I mean excuse me, if you're not losing any weight on 2,000 calories then we know that this is kind of your maintenance okay so this is kind of where you you sit this is so say you're 180 pounds so say you're eating 2,000 calories a day you're maintaining 180 pounds good so you know what your maintenance is what this tells me is if you're going to lose fat, you're going to want to drop these calories down to about 1,500 calories. And this 180 pounds is going to start dropping. Okay? Now, a lot of guys try to achieve this by following a low-carb, low-fat diet, which will kill your testosterone. Instead, you follow these macros up here. So 
of your daily calories are going to come from fat, 40% are going to come from carbs, and 20% are going to come from protein. Okay? So I'm going to I'm going to pull out my calculator and I'm just going to give you an example here. So, say you're you're eating for the sake of I was no math major, okay? So for the sake of keeping it simple for me, so I don't take too much of your time, I'm going to kind of go over this a little bit. Okay, so I promise you it won't be much longer, guys. Um, <clears throat> so say you have 2,000, uh, you're eating 2,000 calories a day, and you want to eat um, 40 Calories coming from fat, 40 coming from carbs, 20 coming from protein. Let's start with the carbs. So for the carbs here, okay, so that's going to be, so 40% are coming from your carbs. That means 800 calories are going to come from your carbs. Okay? So that that tells me here another 800 calories. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes, another 800 calories are going to come from your fat. Okay? So we got 800 calories coming from your carbs, 800 calories coming from your fat, and then the remaining 400 calories are going to come from your protein. So 20% of your diet is coming from your protein. Okay. So you see here, all this together equals 2,000. So this is where we're getting our calories from. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to erase up here because I'm, I'm going to show you how this breaks down even more. Because you may be thinking, okay, well, <clears throat> where do I go next? For every one carb you're going to get, excuse me, you're going to get four calories. So for every one gram of carb, you get four calories. Okay, so what we do is we divide this by four. Okay, so that means 200, 200 grams of carbs a day. Okay, now fat, you're going to divide this by 9. <clears throat> okay, so now this is stuff that, that is learned in, your, in, in all the personal training courses, nutrition courses, all that good stuff. So uh, what this here is telling me is about 89 grams of fat. That's going to get me... 800 calories okay because for every nine calories is one gram of fat I know it's a, a little bit confusing as a little bit of math but that that's how it works out now for your your protein here we have uh, 400 this we're also going to divide by four like we did with our carbs because for every four calories that is one gram of protein So we get 100 grams of protein. This here, if you're eating at, at 2,000 calories to lose weight, this here is your optimal uh, macronutrient breakdown for your testosterone levels while also helping you lose fat. Okay? The diet industry hates this. Okay? And this, they're going to tell you you're on too low of protein of a diet, you're on too high carbs, too high of fat. Well, guess what? If you're a man who wants to increase his testosterone levels, maintain high and healthy testosterone levels while getting shredded, and maybe not even getting shredded while losing 10, 20, 30 pounds of fat, okay, you want to follow this approach. Okay, so... 
This here, all this math, I know it's a little bit confusing. Uh, like I said, near to the beginning of the year, I'm looking to open up coaching where you can work one-on-one -on -one with me. Uh, I'm gonna be calling it custom anabolic macro coaching. And I'll, I'll go through that more in the future. I still have a lot of things. It's a huge undertaking to put together, but it's gonna take all the guesswork out for you and it's gonna help you either lose fat or build muscle while increasing our testosterone levels at the same time. So for a lot of you guys, it's gonna start in the losing fat phase. So we're gonna lose, lose fat while increasing our T levels, and then we'll focus on, okay, well once I get to a body fat percentage that I'm happy with, how can I supercharge or expedite my muscle growth with my nutrition? And that's what I'll go into um, as, as a next step as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. So we got three mistakes here that you guys definitely want to avoid as you as you look to lose belly fat and, and just kind of lean up, tone up all around, maybe get a six-pack abs. Really, it's it's for each you know goal. It's up to your goal. But also at the same time, how to increase testosterone levels and um, how to maintain them while you're dieting so you don't lose yourself so you don't lose your manhood so um, you know you can still be the thriving male that you want to be with uh, you know for your partner while you're in the gym while you're at the office you don't want to crush this hormone it's so essential and to do it for the sake of losing a few pounds you just want to avoid it at all costs so um, so instead of me just continuing on and rambling, I'm going to cut it there. I see it's been about 30 minutes. I hope that you truly found some value mm -hmm. in this video. This is for my, uh, my anabolic tribe, guys. You guys mean so much to me. So I'm, I'm so grateful um, to be making a video for you guys and just knowing that you guys will be uh, checking it out and implementing these things. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me. You guys are awesome. You'll be getting this. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to send it out tomorrow to you guys, which will be the day before Thanksgiving. So, um, you know, happy Thanksgiving coming up, you guys. And, um, and uh, you know, from, from here in the U.S., if you're not in the U.S., and if you are in the U.S., you know, I hope you have a great holiday. So, um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit me up with any questions. Thanks so much for being a part of the Anabolic Tribe. Truly, you guys are so awesome. So, uh, I will talk to you guys later.